Well, hello, hello, hello. Oh, Crystal Division versus Champion Division. The United Kingdom Crystal Division is up against us. They've got some new leagues here, some very interesting uh, shenanigans going on on chess.com to try to spice it up. I'm not buying it. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying it. All right. So you have a very early bishop out. I don't know. Just gonna play a bit quickly. Not gonna waste too much time on the opening. Deliver a check. Okay, so we have a very uh, expanded structure in terms of like uh, airiness. It's a little bit uh, vulnerable in the long run, potentially. Uh, I could have taken this, but chose not to because these dark squares are going to be critical, I think. Queen is going to run a little bit short on squares, but not in a majorly devastating way. This knight's going to be super annoying here. So he's going to have a lovely deep outpost. That's one of the truths, unfortunately, of this position. But maybe we can get our knight into a kind of outpost of our own or nullify the outpost once he comes in. I think nullifying is better. Let's nullify it. Okay. And now he's going to try to recirculate this and come back in here. At least that's what I would have done, but uh, all right, we got to think a little bit now. Now that the game has basically set its stone, and you can see white definitely has an advantage, but not a huge one. Let's move the king out of the way. This diagonal is going to become vital because the pawn breaks and everything are they're all here. The bishop release is the real tricky thing. He wants to play this, but he can't quite at the moment. What do I want to play? I'll just do a soft move like this. He's planning this pawn break. Okay, let's. Develop the bishop slightly. Okay, now comes the maneuver, potentially. So we will make sure that we can push the spawn break. Try to. He could even maneuver here, actually. Many ways to develop. This bishop might become a little bit of a loose piece, should there be some trades. Spying for a nice outpost here. Tempting as it is to play, this comes in with check. Not so good. Let's give him something to worry about. Okay. Interesting way to play. Interesting way to play indeed. We'll continue on with that idea. Because we, we definitely can attack after a move like this. And without the fianchetto bishop, there should be some scope for an attack. This is defended by two three pieces. 
I guess the best idea is to hunker down with it for now. Let's make this loose piece apparent. It is a loose piece. My queen is dependent. Yours is not. Tempted to blow this open, but I think I just exposed myself. His king is still pretty solid here. There's no easy way to infiltrate. Shit. I'm kind of messed up here, actually. Pretty messed up. I don't have a, a real pawn break. Don't have a real move. Maybe we can try to get our bishop in here. Force the... Let's try that. Let's at least get this knight off the board. This knight is too good. Okay. Now with the knights off, can I hold on to this and this? No. It's gonna it's gonna get ugly for me. I'm gonna have to open it up. I'm gonna have to open it up and then do something. It's really a gamble type of play here. Nothing going on particularly strong. Maybe we can try for a draw, a queen checking draw. That might be a good uh, way out of this mess because we are in a bit, a bit of a mess here. And we're up against Crystal Division. Don't you forget that, Crystal Division. Yeah, looks like a draw is on the cards. I can definitely go for the draw right here. Is there something better? There's also a mating possibility down there. It seems even more promising, to be honest. Let him fight for the draw. Yeah. We can actually go for the mate. God damn it. If he goes for the mate, then we'll, we'll go for the sack. I guess. Just got to keep the drawing pressure on, right? Because we're mate in one. We're mate in one. Let's offer the draw. All right. Interesting game. Draw against Crystal Division. Definitely bad play by me. I'm not going to deny it was a horrible game. Uh, but the good news is that Sometimes even in a bad position, you can you can wiggle out of it if you have enough attacking power going on because of these kind of drawing situations, especially with Queen and Rook. So how to bail out, that's going to be the title. How to bail out in style. Here, you know, you, you saw the, the plot was slipping on, on the queen side so there really wasn't anything going on it would have been stupid to try to hold on to this pawn or that pawn you just got to try to open it up and hope for the best here but right here he did mess up and i was actually in a winning position but i messed up big time yeah what did i do wrong what could i have done here differently I mean, I, I did think about this move. I'm not saying I didn't think about it, but is it that strong? 
move 35. Let's move this camera down a bit. Yeah. Move 35. G. Queen G4. Okay, just sliding the queen up one notch. Rook takes. Queen check. King F1. Then rook. Then check, check. So you uh, kind of get to whiplash him around. That's uh, part of the idea here. Basically, penetrating the position was the key to hone in on. But I, I failed to do that. Gave him a breathing room here, and now he's back in pole position. Uh, because I, I still had my draw idea in mind. Now I came in with the queen check. And we knew we had to draw here with this move. But we decided to try to get greedy, and we should have lost this game for doing that. Queen d6, or queen c7, or queen c8, almost anything. So he comes in with the check, but that seems to be the wrong one. Wow, what are the subtle differences? I don't even understand it. I really don't understand it. Okay, like rook back here would have been solid because uh, you force him to have to reply and then you can force a draw. But because I moved, now apparently he can force a win. Apparently. But I don't see exactly how because all I see is a bunch of different checks. Okay, queen h4 to try to hold on to things like this and then reroute the rook maybe and then tickle the spawn down forward that could be a winning strategy here actually instead white went for the immediate the immediate approach and then, then i had to bail out for the draw. Yeah. interesting interesting 